Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking through my top five oil cleansers and exactly why you need to be using one. Honestly, other than bread and pasta, I think oil cleansers are one of the most just one of the best inventions ever. Um, they're an incredible tool. They're an incredible product. They work so well. They're so good for your skin. And I feel like not enough people actually use them, maybe because of a little bit of a lack of sort of understanding how they work and also to do with a little bit of fear that's associated with the word oil. So yeah, I'm gonna go through my top five oil cleansers and I'm gonna be explaining to you exactly why you need to be including one in your skincare and makeup removal routine. So if you're interested in learning that, then please stick around, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and let's jump straight into the video. All right, so first up, I'm just gonna quickly explain exactly what an oil cleanser is for those of you who may not know. An oil cleanser is essentially what the name suggests and it is something that cleans your skin. It removes makeup, it removes dirt, pollution, uh, oil, dust, sweat, everything off your skin, but it is formulated as an oil. Now, it's not like a heavy oil. Don't feel like you're gonna be rubbing I don't know, olive oil over your face. Uh, also, it's not going to clog your pores. A lot of people associate the word oil with blackheads and breakouts, and I totally understand because I, I definitely used to as well, but they're a very, very, very lightweight oil. Most of them are infused with antioxidants and a bunch of other things, and basically what they do is you put them over a full face of makeup, or if you're not wearing makeup, which you may not be wearing too much of at the minute, you put it over your entire face, you rub it into the skin, it will dissolve, it will melt like eyeliner, liquid lipstick, it will melt down really long wearing foundations, it will melt down, like I said, the sweat and the oil and anything on your skin, and then you add a little bit bit of water to it and you rub it around on your face and it actually turns into sort of a creamy kind of emulsion and like I said it's very 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 lightweight don't worry about feeling like oh my gosh like this feels hideous and like I'm gonna have like an oily face for the next six weeks because I've just slapped oil on my skin don't worry and once that water is sort of mixed in it turns into like a creamy milky kind of emulsion and then basically rinses off and when you rinse it off obviously all the makeup and everything rinses off with it now it doesn't an oil cleanser is not something that you can use in place place of a regular cleanser it is something that you need to use in addition to a regular cleanser so you know you're not going to take like your oil cleanser into the shower and wash your face with it and you know call it a day you still need to use like a proper cleanser with it as well like a foaming cleanser or you know whatever it is that you want to use but honestly the addition of an oil cleanser in your life and I'm not even being dramatic is literally life-changing first up double cleansing I have spoken about that at length with you guys before I will link a video in the description bar maybe on the screen here somewhere um, about double cleansing and why it is so important and how it can just make massive differences in the improvement of your skin but using an oil cleanser not only is such an easy and gentle and effective way to remove you know makeup and stuff like that it is also an amazingly simple way of hydrating your skin without having to add you know the addition of like a million products kind of to get that oil and that hydration back into your face they're really calming they're really like non-irritating if you've got sensitive eyes like I do you will notice that you know removing your eye makeup is no longer the most painful experience of your life and just they they clean the skin so well and they just get everything off your skin, but without stripping the skin. They are honestly amazing. And if you are not using an oil cleanser in your routine, like I cannot, like I am 110% behind it. Like you will notice a huge difference in the hydration of your skin. Obviously, if you've got dry skin, it will be a lot less dry. And obviously, if you've got oily skin, it will be a lot less oily because it's helping correct those, you know, imbalances in the hydration and it's stopping that overproduction of oil. And I know from personal experience as an oily skin type, for, for years, like for the longest time forever, I was like, no, I'm not cleaning my face with oil. I got enough oil going on. I don't need to add more into the mix. And yeah, it just is the completely wrong way to view it. So I've got five of my most loved and most used oil cleansers here in front of me. Now, like I said earlier, I have got quite sensitive eyes. I have come across quite a few oil cleansers that do irritate my eyes. So it is something that I have been testing out for quite a few years now. And these five that I have here in front of me are definitely like winners. Uh, they're non-irritating to my eyes. They're non-irritating to the skin. They get absolutely everything off my face and they are also really pleasant to use. I've also got a drugstore option, an affordable one, um, a sort of mid-range one, and a few others that you will find at like Sephora and places like that. So first up, and this is like the mother of all pre-cleansers, and I mean, if you've been here for a while, you will have heard me talk about this product probably a million times, the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. So, you know, this obviously is an oil-based cleanser. It is absolutely incredible, very, very lightweight, smells amazing, gets everything off your face. So even like waterproof eyeliner, waterproof liquid lipstick, like the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which we all know is like paint once it's on. And like, oh, 
Yes, Taylor, we love you. We love you for that. But this stuff will get absolutely everything off. Doesn't cause any kind of irritation to my eyes at all. And I mean, I obviously wouldn't do it because it's not safe. But I feel like if I pumped this like literally into my eyeball, it wouldn't even sting. Like it is just so gentle and it just hydrates so well. My skin feels amazing and plump after I've used it. I love this stuff. Now to tell you, because I feel like I should give you a bit of an idea of the ingredients of each of these. So you can make a decision about which one you may want to try. So this one has got apricot oil. Oils. It's got rice bran and vitamin E oils in it. Uh, deep cleansing, it says borage seed, kukui or kukui. I'm not quite sure how that one is pronounced. Um, just some really, really amazing hydrating and clarifying kind of ingredients in this that are great for your skin. Smells incredible, feels incredible when you use it. I quite like the way that this works. And um, they did come out with a it was in like a balm. It was like a balm version of this that's in like a little squeezy tube, which yes, that is really great for traveling, but I personally don't like the balm version as much as I like the original pre-cleanse, like the liquid one. All right, next up is this one by Clinique. This is actually my first ever oil cleanser that I ever tried, ever used, and ever loved. So this one is called the Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, a really, really effective cleansing balm. I've grabbed a new one because if you saw the state of mine, Oh, I'm lucky enough to have backups of Clinique, thankfully. You can see it's like a solid balm kind of a texture. If you ever rode horses, I grew up riding horses, it reminds me of saddle soap. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm on about there. But this one's got more of like a solid balm kind of a texture. You basically scoop it out. I'm, I'm not going to touch it because I've got one that I'm halfway through. It's just like orange with foundation and fake tan. Love that for me. But you basically scoop it out. It melts into an oil on contact with the skin. I'm pretty sure it's heat that kind of breaks it down. And it just as much as the Dermalogica one will get everything off your face. Now the one thing that is a big difference between this one and that one other than like the physical properties, this one does not have a scent. Like if you are really sensitive to fragrances or you hate using fragrances in your skin, care you will love this one like there's literally it's got no scent at all so very quickly and easily turns from the balm into an oil and then you add the water and it's more of like a creamy emulsion again that you can really cleanse away with doesn't irritate my eyes doesn't irritate like around my nose it just gets everything off super well it is a really really good product and obviously being that it's in like a jar and it's more of a solid form it's a little bit safer for travel and I do actually believe don't quote me on this because I feel like sometimes I get this stuff wrong, but I do believe it comes in like a smaller travel sized version as well. Um, it's really awesome, this one, I love it. Okay, next up I've got this one by Biosyn. So this is the Squalene and Antioxidant Cleansing Oil. This very much the same as the last two. I mean, these are obviously my top five for a reason. Gets everything off your skin. It really, really effectively cleanses all the eyeliner, all the mascara even. Like you can rub your fingers over your lashes with the oil and it just gets everything off. It does an amazing job, again, without irritating and also while really delivering a whole bunch of hydration to the skin. Oh, I can't read the ingredients off it. That's a bit of a bummer. Obviously though, it's got the squalene for hydration, you know, really deep hydration. And then it's also got antioxidants, which we love. You need antioxidants in the skin for protection and health and all of that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it's a really, really amazing one. I really love the dispenser. It pumps out like the perfect amount. And this one also, I will say, smells delicious. Like citrus, mm, essential oils, like all the yummy stuff. It's another really, really good one that works brilliantly without irritating the skin. All right, next up I have this one, and this one's more of a recent discovery. This is from Mecca Cosmetica. Uh, this is their Nourishing Cleansing Oil, and I absolutely was blown away with how good this one is. So this one was only released kind of recently-ish, and you know, I already, I'm sort of like a bit funny with my cleansing oils. I'm super, super fussy, and it's kind of hard to get me to test more because I'm like, oh, well, you know, I like what I like. Like, I, no. Well, eventually I was like, okay, Nakia, test this. And honestly, the, the products from Mecca Cosmetica, like, like their, their in-house range of stuff is absolutely amazing. Like they make so many amazing skincare products, but I just absolutely loved this. Super, super effective. It really melted down, you know, all my mascara, my eyeliner, my lipstick, my foundation, absolutely everything. I've used this on days when I haven't worn any makeup. It's just really cleansed the skin super, super well. And again, like I said, whilst adding a lot of hydration to the skin. And the other thing that I love about this one, and obviously like the packaging is gorgeous. Like this just looks so beautiful sitting out on the vanity. But the other thing that I love about this one is the scent is like actual heaven. Like it feels like you are getting a facial at home. And I'm never mad about that. Like I like a really like sort of like a whole experience when doing my skincare routine. And I really did get that out of this product. So this one has got a bunch of stuff in it, like literally lists and lists. I was reading the back of the box. Do I even, I think I turfed the box out, sorry. But this one has got avocado oil, hemp seed oil, argan oil, prickly pear seed, 
raspberry seed oil. Oh, it's packed with antioxidants. It's also got orange peel and neroli oil, which is um, a big part of the fragrance in this. It's just beautiful, really refreshing to use, really effective. The packaging's gorgeous. Um, this is a really, really incredible product and definitely deserves a spot in my top five oil cleansers. And then last but not least, I have a drugstore or a more affordable option for you guys to try and it is this one by Neutrogena. Now, Neutrogena did come out with a bunch of different cleansing oils. This is the hydrating one, but they did also have, it was like a blue one and then I think there was another one. I have tried those other ones and this one is by far my favorite. It is incredible. Pumps out a really nice amount. I don't find it difficult to use. It really melts into the skin. It really dissolves all that makeup. And then once a the water is mixed in with it, I find that it works really well. It gets super nice and milky and you can really kind of suds it up a bit. And it's also sort of lightly scented like cucumber. It has got cucumber extract in it to help hydrate the skin and to really balance things out. But it it honestly it smells really, really nice. It's a dream to use really. Hydrates the skin super well. Now with this one in comparison to the others that I have shown you, well, I guess this one on the Clinique one are kind of similar in that sense, is this one isn't loaded with like a bunch of different antioxidants and a bunch of different oils for the skin. It's got more simple ingredients, but it does have that cucumber extract in it. And it is sort of lightly fragranced with that cucumber. It's really, really nice, simple, effective, doesn't irritate my eyes. It's a really good affordable option. And if you are looking to test out an oil cleanser for the first time or you're looking for a more affordable option, this may be a good one to start with. So there you go, guys. Those are my top five oil cleansers. I just really feel like the word needs to be spread more about oil cleansers. Not enough people talk about them. Not enough people talk about double cleansing. It honestly makes a massive difference to your skin. Like I promise you, once you add it into your skincare routine, you will be like literally shook. Less oil, less congestion, less breakouts. Your skin will look brighter and it will be way more hydrated than it was before. They're honestly amazing. They're like, they're like miracles in a bottle. And like years ago, like especially like through high school and stuff, I wish more than anything that I had an oil cleanser. Nobody let me know. So hopefully me letting you know helps you. But please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. If you've got any questions at all about anything that you've seen here or just about double cleansing or oil cleansers in general, please pop them in the comment section. And yes, let me know if you're going to try one out. Let me know if you do use one already. I want to know absolutely everything because I'm like, I'm super nosy, okay? But I love you guys heaps and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.